is is powerful because it's universal music unites people music communicates during the time leading up to the Civil War drums were used to communicate miles away um, music was used to give directions the song follow the drinking gourd was a map for the slaves who were hoping to escape slavery. Follow the drinking gourd was follow the North Star, travel north. Uh, follow the drinking gourd was a map giving directions, you know, the river winds between two bends. Um, there were lines like that in the song, which I don't have handy. But that was a song that influenced me a lot when I was, you know, a wee folky. Was I could tell that there was more going on in that song than just the eensy weensy spider. Or, um, you know, songs like that, the kids' children's songs. I mean, there's an importance to children's music, absolutely. Um, then it becomes part of our, becomes part of our, our, our racial memory, these songs. It's almost like we somehow learned them, even if our parents don't sing, somehow we, we know them. Little kids still know these songs. So music is powerful because it connects everyone. And you don't have to speak the same language. Working in multi-ethnic, uh, nursing homes and facilities. I'm often faced with a huge room of people who speak many languages. Well, I don't speak all of those languages, but music brings people together. Because even if you don't know the words, even if you don't understand the words, it doesn't matter. There's a tune, there's a beat, there's... People are singing, people are feeling it. It's so... It goes deep into our bodies, and that's one of the healing things that music does. The drama of the whole thing, music, this will usually, in my my, with my experience in music, there's a story that you can relate to, and there's a song, a tune that you can whistle, or remember. It's, it's just a format, you know, so music has always been, before, People have always been banging drums and dancing and laughing and crying and you know my my family was Irish people so after they finished laughing heartily they always cried tears came to their eyes from laughing too much so you know music is like that there's something out there for everybody everybody's got a shot at it it's the only art form that's really participatory any other art form is is mostly observational. So, as I said earlier, the music is part of the human spirit, it's in there. And you can go participate in music, you can dance to it, you can sing along with it. And it's, it's just in the soul, you just have a yearning to do it. I think that is why it is so powerful, because you can really engage in it. When people listen to music, there is a, 
element of like primal instinct that is is engaged that they are not always aware of like for instance um, low frequencies the reason that they sound big is because low frequencies are produced by large animals you know which could mean that you're in trouble could be very exciting uh, the reason that people roll up the bass and the treble in their car is because people, the human ear is more apt to hear the mid-range frequencies because that's where the human voice is. We're designed to hear ourselves. Um, I think that uh, being able to sort of understand and explore sound physics has a way of me understanding my environment in a way that you're, you're, you're seeing in, in a more than three-dimensional way. The way how I see the power of music is uh, by performing. I see many uh, kids coming through uh, the door uh, who don't just love music but also would like to express themselves or uh, express um, some kind of creativity. And uh, performing is hard, um, especially when you are a teenager and you are kind of fighting for who am I and what am I doing and where am I going. And uh, that, that particular age is so connected to the music that they kind of feel like the music is talking to me or I am talking through this music. And uh, they come here very shy at the beginning and uh, they know their instruments, they get to know that more and more and once they are on stage, um, the more they are given the opportunity to show, to, to shine, uh, they can lose themselves in the music. They can uh, get the sense of freedom in a way that I don't see many other ways. And um, it's exciting to see that, that blossoming and uh, that grounding that the music gives them, um, or just the performing aspect of the music. That, that development, we saw many kids through many years, like some of them were here for almost uh, seven, eight years, basically from age 12 to age 18, and uh, seeing uh, not just how well, um, how well they play um, year by year, or how much they develop musically, but also uh, socially, they they smile more, they engage more, they open up more for people, um, and uh, and they are getting more curious about other people, about music, about uh, um, maybe the meaning of the lyrics. It's not just I'm singing. It's more of I also understand and I want to not just sing but express that singing. Uh, some of the kids get through teenagehood by or via music. Like some have very difficult times at high schools. Um, they are not sport kids, they are not academically high achievers. Music is their safe place. Uh, music has several gifts. Uh, one is to remove us from our current reality, transport us someplace else. One is to summon us to a focus and another is to inform us, um, to give us some information. Um, I think the organization that my daughter Liz has created, the Music for Life organization, now has gone even another step further, which is to recognize that musicians want to help their communities. That it's not just a question of coming up with music, it's coming up with projects that employ the art of music to involve the community. And in that case, uh, music has a different kind of... Uh, <laughs> it's like, music is like a big swimming pool, and let's all jump in, okay? I've been thinking about Isaac Newton And the apple that fell from his tree And the subsequent notion that somehow that motion Was related to gravity Now you think To be a humble dude when I read something else that he composed. He 
said we're standing on the shoulders of giants Inheriting the knowledge of the ones that can be We're standing on the shoulders of giants In the real here we can see much more Just a simple songwriter But the thought did occur to me Lady 